Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, I'm really, I'm really sorry that the uh, last video was ten minutes long. I know that time is money, and you guys all have stuff going on. So I promise I will new, I will never do that to you again. I just wanted to take the long way home and make sure we were all on the same page. Okay, so let's look at our login.php page, and um, where is it? Let's go ahead and pull this up. Just on a browser, of course. Okay, let's look at this right here. So we have this if statement right here, which is a little bit different than our other pages. This means that if we're already logged in and that the specific user session is correct, then we can completely bypass this login page because it's going to direct us directly to our faculty page right here. Our faculty page is extremely important because that's where we're able to edit our CMS in case you forgot. So let's focus on our logout page because it's time, because it's, it's it's annoying to delete our cookies, sessions, and cache every time we want to check for these three things. So let's look at it. And right now, if you don't have it, just go ahead and create it in our root folder. Do not put it in your includes folder. It's got a very basic HTML. I am going to, I'm just going to delete this right now. I'm going to delete everything from our logout.php page. Okay, so there's four steps to closing a session. Sessions, which believe me is way, 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 way easier and better than going to your browser preferences and deleting it every time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to hard code this. Require once, and we'll include. Does it include or includes? Includes the NAS. Sorry about that includes our functions dot php folder and create another line of php code I'm gonna make a comment four steps to closing out a session step one uh oh step one find the session find the user let's track down the user and um, our logout page it's not going to be a brutal page but it's going to go on for a little bit maybe like three or four videos and uh, like again I said I wouldn't do another 10 minute video so I think I'm going to cut this video right here so just make sure you have a logout logout.php page inside of your root folder make sure it's not in your includes folder and that's pretty much the only place that we could have it because we don't have anything in our JS. We have one CSS page and zero images. So make sure you have this code right here. Save it in your Village Park root folder. All right, guys, good luck with this. Again, I apologize for the last video. It's 10 minutes, 10 minutes way too long. And uh, make sure you have this ready for the next video. All right.